Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pay360 2019. Today's March 14th, when officially all the ASPSPs, financial institutions, are going to be live on PSD2 Open Banking for external testing. And I thought, therefore, I, I would ask the panel um, their thoughts when we're looking at the future now. Um, I've called it a different event, the elephant in the room. Um, I think the biggest change to hit payments probably in the last 20 years or 30 years. I would like to get a few views maybe from the panelists on PSD2 Open Banking. Is it as big as I'm thinking? Is it going to be a damp squib? Rich, as a soon to be bank. I, I think being around, I am one of those people that have seen these great things of payments come out. Contactless, for example, is a great example. I use a lot and I'll be very quick on it. Remember, RFID, and we all, uh, payment geeks like uh, David and I know what RFID is, uh, that was patented in 1987. Uh, I worked on Visa's plan in 1998, and it's taken 20 years to adopt. So I, uh, the bullishness of David around open banking, I agree that it will happen. I probably would disagree with David when it will happen. We've got some technology that's produced something that will, will no doubt be amazing. Look at all the things we do with texting now. We don't just text and send messages. You know, we use it for verification. We use it probably in the future for payments, if not already. And so I think it's, you know, it's a bit like 1989 with texting. And I, I predict a, you know, an incredible outcome for it. But I think it's hard, as you say, to predict just exactly when that's going to happen. I don't personally, as a consumer, see me using open banking. I'm not going to allow Facebook to have my banking credentials or Twitter to have my banking credentials. Will my kid want that? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But what about applying for a loan, let's yeah. say? Uh, you go in and apply for a loan, instead of taking your pay slips in, they automatically pull off your bank details to make a loan application go through in 15 seconds. APIs were patented back in 1980. The first APIs that you guys have used uh, actually was done by Salesforce in 2000. A technology that we're all saying is really new and fantastic is still a 20-year-old technology. The adoption of it is different. I do think the user experiences will be better, though. I, I do agree with you, but some of the more interesting integrations of you doing your financial services on other platforms, I will say it will come. I will just say that the time frame for it will come will be I'm less enthusiastic than the people like yourself. In terms of actually who the winners will be out of it, I'm not sure the banks will be the winners out of it. I think maybe it's the you know the the, the you know, other companies, the bank uh, type companies who you know, who having access to that data do something in a better way. And I mean, and banks are typically, and I'm you know I'm, I'm, I'm being you know in sort of a bank room in my car, they're not great at communicating with their customers, and I can't see them you know, uh, you know really kind of getting uh, getting to grips with the opportunities. The generation, generation Z does everything on a, on a, on a phone and even mobile. What happens after so. Generation Z, by the way? Because the alphabet yeah. starts at A again. <laughs> Do you know? I don't know. That's a very good question. You should ask Sorry, I'm just a simple man here. You should ask yeah. the, the clever people on, on the panel that question. Robert Courtledge, CEO of event sponsor Morewand. So at Pay360, uh, we're one of the key uh, sponsors. Uh, we're sponsoring the gin o'clock drinks. Uh, we're sponsoring the after drinks. So don't know whether there's a theme going on there. But also I've got a speaking slot uh, where I'm going to talk a bit about Morwand. Uh, and equally, uh, along with uh, my mate Suresh from Tribe, we're going to be doing a great FinTech unplug with Julian Sawyer from Starling Bank. So it should be a really exciting event. So Pay360 is an event I've been going to since it first started. I still remember when it was in the round, hence the 360. But it's got bigger and bigger each year, and, it, and I think the EPA has become more and more relevant to the industry each year. And as a result of that, I think it's an event that we need to be part of, to be part of this industry, this emerging payments industry. My name is Mark Swain, author of Banking 2020. So Mark, what brings you to Pay360? I'm here at Pay360 from Sydney, Australia to really look at the latest developments in global banking innovation. My current book, Banking 2020, looks at the whole $2 trillion market and all the developments that are happening right now. But this is the place to be to find out about all the new developments that are happening into the future. Uh, it's a great conference for me to find out the cutting edge of open banking and all the latest fintech developments. Okay, so from what you've heard today, 
Uh, you got any ideas for what may be uh, a new chapter for your next iteration of the book? I think from today, the key messages I've taken away are that the customer is going to make the rules even more. The customer really is king. And the businesses that can adapt their technology and their solutions around a great customer experience will be the winners. But we also need to be mindful as com- of companies that customers also still want to use cash and still want some traditional levels of service. So my key takeaways from here are reshape everything you're doing around the customer, but use the innovation that is clearly on show at Pay360.